Can someone explain to me why this has no windows? So that building in New York, this windowless building in San Francisco, this one in Chicago, this one in Austin, and hundreds more buildings placed conspicuously across the country in very populous locations are all part of AT&T's long lines network. Or at the very least, most are remnants of that. This is what telephone lines looked like at the turn of the century. And before we had digital telephony, the lines on your phone physically connected to the person on the other end's phone. That meant we need these massive switching hubs. Most of those buildings I show were built in the 70s. So that means they didn't require actual operators. And because this machinery didn't particularly care if there was light or not, they just decided, why add windows? But that building is 33 Thomas Street, which is known to be one of the most secure towers in the world. It has enough gas, water, and electricity to be able to continue running independently for up to two weeks. And it's supposed to be able to actually withstand nuclear blast within reason. Now, while most of that equipment has been digitized and you don't need it for phones, it's still critical for network and internet infrastructure. In fact, if you're watching this in the US, this video probably went through one of those buildings.